I've brought my project down to the kitchen today because I have a stitching friend coming over this afternoon. My friend Karen, uh, who I've known for a few years, we met through Thread and I, she's coming over this afternoon for a few hours to stitch with me. So I'm really looking forward to that. Today's whip, I thought I would choose something special because I was reminded of this piece yesterday on the Facebook group when Judith posted a picture of hers. And I thought, you know, it's been over a year since I touched mine and it's about time that I got back to it. As you can see, once again, uh, typical me, I must have spent a lot of money a number of years ago kitting these things up with Vicki Clayton silk. Uh, at the time that it was for sale, this was a reasonably priced silk. It was actually probably, you know, about the same as kitting something up today in, you know, a, a variegated cotton. So, in fact, probably a little less even if I'm, if I'm to think about it. So, anyways, Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow. This is, let's see here. So, Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow. As you can see, this is the thread chart that comes with the pattern. And I have a conversion chart for Vicky's threads that I can't, I think my friend Adrian sent it to me because she had it, she had it as a file. And so I have the conversion chart here. It's the entire list of Vicky's threads converted over to the DMC equivalent. And then so what I've done is I just look up the DMC number for what's needed and then make a note of what the conversion is. And then as I've been using them, I've been writing the DMC number conversion uh, on the floss away bag that's attached to the thread that I'm using. So in <laughs> I'm remembering now because it was a year ago that I did it. So the DMC number is in pink and the Vicky name and number is in the blue. So that's what I've done. So these are the ones that I pulled for the very first block that I started. And as you can see, this is how far I got. Now, of course, I don't have my linen stretched as taut as I normally would because of these daily videos. I'm using these handy clamp bars. As you can see, I'm using these handy clamp bars on my both my floor frame and my lap frame because that means that I can quickly get my project on and off the scroll rods without having to sew each project. So I'm having to put up with a little more looseness of tension, but that doesn't usually tend to bother me. It just doesn't look all that pretty for the video, but that's okay. I think you can still tell what it looks like. I absolutely love this blue color. What is that? That is jadeite, so you can see the bag there, jadeite. And then she uses the same name, but has the number is slightly different for the darker versions, 2465 and 2463. So that is what I plan on working on today. Very exciting. I have one more thing to share with you today, and this is a bit of a surprise because I'm super excited to share it with you. I have a finish. So I'm gonna just pan over here to show you my finish. Ignore the random loose thread on the table. Here I go, are you ready? Ta-da! I finished my sock. Look at that. I have an, an HO, a half finished object. I have one sock. I finished my toe this morning, first thing this morning with my first cup of coffee. And I did the Kitchener stitch to end it off. I did a, this is just a plain vanilla sock. So it's just knit in the round with a heel flap and gusset for the heel. And I did a nice long leg. And I tried it on this morning and it fits. So, success. One finished thing. So thanks for letting me share that with you. And that's it for this segment. And I'll just pop in a quick little video of what I accomplished yesterday. Yesterday's whip was Finally Quaker Diamonds by Rosewood Manor. 
and I had the best time stitching this. It was everything that I'd hoped for yesterday when I was just sitting there loving every single minute of this stitch. So I finished the center motif in here. I completed all of the green around the outside of this motif. I finished the little pink flowers that are all around the outside. Uh, these little guys here, I finished the bottom of the floral motif here, the little green bits there. I started the second bird. What else? Hmm. That might have been it. That was quite a bit. This is a 32 count. I believe it's a picture that's plus linen, but I could be wrong. No idea. But I love it and it is stitching up beautifully. I am using a conversion of Vicki Clayton silks. So if anyone is interested in the name of those, I would be happy to um, give those names. But since you, since they're discontinued, I'm not sure there's much point. However, if you have a stash of Vicki Clayton's at home and you're looking for uh, the substitutions that I used, I'd be more than happy to give you the names. But you know, oh, Love it, loving it. I am sad to put this one away today, but I'm super excited about the whip that I have to work on today. So that makes up for it. All right, that's it for me today. Have a happy Sunday, happy stitching, and I'll see you tomorrow.